This video is brought to you by Hollow 12. Hollow 12 biology courses are aligned with the curriculum of over 150 countries. Breathing. Breathing consists of two parts. The first is the inspiration of air or inhalation. The second is the expiration of air or exhalation. The processes of inspiration and expiration are possible because of the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. When the intercostal muscles contract, the ribs move outwards and upwards. The diaphragm contracts and gets flattened. These two changes increase the space in the thoracic cavity. This results in the movement of the air inside during inhalation. During expiration or exhalation, the intercostal muscles relax. This moves the ribs inwards and downwards to the original position. The diaphragm also relaxes and moves upwards back to its original dome shape. This reduces the space in the thoracic cavity and the air is forced out. Bell jar model, experiment. Take a look at this bell jar model. This model will explain the process of breathing. These structures resemble the parts of the respiratory system. When the rubber sheet, acting as the diaphragm, is stretched downwards, the volume inside the jar increases. This decreases the pressure, and air is drawn in through the glass tube. Here, the glass tube acts as the trachea and bronchi. This air inflates the balloons that are acting as lungs in this experiment. When the rubber sheet is moved back to its original position, the pressure increases, and the volume is decreased. This moves the air out, for example the exhalation occurs. Go to our website, hollow12.com to find out more about our great courses. Thank you. See below for links and don't forget to subscribe. Ring that bell to keep notified of our latest videos.